Could your next coworker be a robot? People are always asking me, are robots going to take our jobs? Well, first, let's start at the beginning. Pro-automation thinkers point out that from human civilization to the industrial era, pretty much everyone was a farmer. But today in America, less than 2% of our population are currently farmers or ranchers. That means that automation and technology have allowed us to grow vast amounts of food with just a few people. And folks who normally would have been farmers can be something else, like software engineers or video bloggers or robot ethicists. There's no reason for this trend to dry up in the future. In fact, we expect it will accelerate. Look at Amazon and their Kiva robots that move big packages around. Or the software that has replaced tax accountants every year. Or even robocalls, which can replace the need for human operators. And there's more on the horizon. Just imagine how autonomous cars could affect the trucking industry. Or even professional gamblers. There's this one program called Cepheus that allegedly can defeat any human player in a one-on-one -on -one game of Limit Texas Hold'em. Well, here's the point. Anything that we humans do to make money will one day be done by robots. Better, cheaper. So if you ask me, are robots going to take our jobs away? The answer is actually really simple. It's yes, eventually they will. But there are other questions that I think are more important. In 2014, the Pew Research Center asked a group of experts in fields like economics, artificial intelligence, robotics, what they thought automation was going to do for the economy. Would automation eliminate more jobs than it created by the year 2025? And the answers? were split pretty much down the middle. 48% of the respondents said it would be a net negative impact, that the economy would take a hit and we would see unemployment rise as a result of increased automation. 52% had a net positive outcome, saying that we were going to see new, higher paid, more skilled jobs come out because of automation and things are going to get less expensive and better for us all around. So who's right? Well, the truth is with technology, you are always going to get both good and bad effects. Effects. So let's take a closer look. On the one hand, human workers are going to be replaced by machines, and they're not always going to be able to retrain fast enough to get another job immediately. On the other hand, automation will give us access to better, cheaper, high quality goods and services, and it will create new jobs, jobs that might be more fulfilling than our old jobs were anyway. Some of the most optimistic thinkers say that it's possible these machines will end up creating all of our goods and services and lead to a post-scarcity world where we won't even need to buy anything. Everything will just be provided by machines. It's a free ride. But even if we do arrive at this idyllic future, the truth is there's going to be a transition period that could be very difficult for workers. So we have to build that into our long-term plans. If your job is simple and repetitive, if it could be described by a very straightforward list of instructions, it's likely to be automated earlier than jobs that require more innovation and creativity and thinking outside the box. You see, machines are really good at productivity, producing something within a given amount of time, but they're not so good at creativity and innovation. So on the plus side, this could lead to a world where human workers are not prized for productivity, but for innovation, creativity, inventive ideas, which is pretty cool. So how do we prepare? Well, first, when automation enters your field of work, don't fight it. You're not gonna win that war. Instead, become the machine whisperer. Find a way to work with the machines, not against the machines. Second, education is key. We have to make sure we teach rising generations the skills they'll need to succeed. So maybe instead of learning from workbooks, which is all about productivity, we should have project-based learning, which is all about creativity. And third, there's some human institutions we may have to prepare ourselves to let go of. I'm talking about paying people for work, because if you have machines doing all the work for you, that labor for pay model doesn't make sense anymore, and we have to find something new to replace it. I've got a question for you guys this week. What do you think we need to do to prepare for the age of accelerated automation? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to our channel, and then check out these other videos over here. Or the robots will get me. <laughs>